and we're back. Today, I want to talk to you about what a wounded healer is. I got this question a couple months ago from somebody at a uh, event that I was speaking at, and I thought it was such a great question because so many people talk about uh, not, you know, don't be a wounded healer, blah, 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 but they don't talk about what it means to be a wounded healer, right? And so uh, today I just want to define that term for you. So a wounded healer is someone who is doing healing work on others, but who has not done enough healing work on themselves. Now, how do you know what enough is, right? Well, enough is enough that when someone else's healing triggers something in you, you don't fly off the handle, become unpresent, go deep into your crap and are not able to be a clear channel for your client anymore. Okay, it's a very simple definition, but how do you know when you're there? Well, you know when you're there, when you get triggered and you don't have it happen, right? So, you know, uh, I'll go deeper into conversation around uh, shadow work in, in, in another episode, but suffice it to say that, that shadow work is the answer. And the, the key here is just to deal with your own crap, right? Don't, don't spiritually bypass saying, oh, I'm going to be a great healer and I'm going to heal others and blah, 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 but you haven't done your own work, right? Because it's, a lot of people do it, you know, you know, we've all been guilty of it at some point in time or another, but the point is that if you're focused on other people and you're not doing your own work, then you are very probably a wounded healer. And the key there is to just pull back from doing your work for a bit and really focus on yourself and really focus on clearing out the stuff that is in your way. It's the stuff that is, you know, up for you, right? You know, the buttons, the triggers, the stories, the limiting beliefs, the mindset, the assumptions, you know, really start looking at how your brain works and how your emotions work and do you feel your emotions, right? These are all the pieces and parts that go into doing our work as healers. And until you do those things, you're really not safe to work with others. Because if somebody else tries to come back at you, and you know, when you're doing work, especially if you're doing coaching work with people, if you're doing work with them, smart people who really don't want to look at what you're trying to get them to look at, they will turn around and just come right at your face with your stuff in the hopes of triggering you to keep you away from their stuff. And it happens a lot and you should know that i mean i you know i i poke things on clients periodically where they just look at me and say fuck you and i'm like yes and the horse i rode in on if i'm not doing my job that you know i i don't know i if i'm doing my job right unless you tell me to fuck myself once a, once a week or so right it's it's one of those things where you have to recognize that if you are dealing with the deep issues for people, if you're really poking at the stuff that's like really owie, they're gonna respond and sometimes very violently, not like aggressively violently, like physically, but oftentimes verbally, they're, they're gonna give you a, you know, bite me sort of response. And if that hurts your feelings, you're screwed. It, I mean, seriously, I'm just gonna tell you flat up, if that hurts your feelings, you shouldn't be doing the work because you haven't dealt with your own stuff. And the minute it hurts your feelings, you're not present for that other person. You know, people come at my face and I'm like, yeah, I get it. I, I understand. You're, you're feeling triggered and I've just poked something that's really hard for you. It's my job, but I get that it hurts and you're gonna lash out and I'm okay with that. You know, I don't, I don't have any skin in the game around you liking me in this moment. I know you'll love me later. That's actually one of the phrases we use a lot when we work with people, especially in retreats. They look at us and go, ah, I'll love you later. It's like, yes, we know. And, and we love you now. And that's why we're walking you through this. So when you are trying not to be a wounded healer, it's all about doing your own inner work in that fashion. Okay. So if you are out there and you're doing healing work and you're recognizing yourself in some of the stuff that I'm talking about, I would highly recommend that you take a look at the website. It's kellysparta.com and you'll see that in the closing credits on this video. And then it's forward slash healers with an S. I'll put that link in the, in the, um, 
notes in the description here. Uh, but the, uh, the page that you want to look at is kellysparta.com forward slash healers. And so I will highly encourage you to take a look at that because it will tell you exactly what you need to do in order to get out of that process. In order to, to get to the point where you are safe, it will lay it out for you in complete uh, detail and in order and exactly what you need to do and how you need to do it. So check that page out if this is starting to sound like you. Okay. And I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.